Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Spotlight 2 k 7 and we are back with a brand new Grand Auto 5 real life mod video and today we're doing some work with our trucking company, Ace Trucking and Logistics. We're actually bobtailing right now. About to go ahead and pick up a trailer. Whoa! Let me hit that J brick and slow down a little bit. I love the sound of the Jake on this thing. But anyway, guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're using our Peterbilt and we're going to be picking up a trailer and dropping off some supplies at the um, at the supermarket in Davis. Now, you guys already know what's going on in real life with like this whole virus situation, all the craziness and like all the stores are running out of stuff. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. But uh, anyway, we're going to try to do our part here in GTA and make sure we keep the stores uh, the stores stocked and full. So we're going to be delivering food as well as supplies such as, you know, hand sanitizers, uh, food, um, water, and a lot of other things that the supermarket needs. So right now we're heading to one of the warehouses to do our pickup. And I believe they have the trailer ready for us already. We're going to be picking up trailer number... 1007 I believe 1007 Dang look at these gas prices 469 what that is outrageous Oh that happened right in front of us. It's always something here in Grand Theft Auto 5. But anyway, guys, I hope everyone is having a good day. Thank you, as always, for tuning into the channel. And if you guys do enjoy this one, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you are new and also hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. All right, so we are here. It's kind of like an all hands on deck thing. The trucking company has been so busy the last couple of weeks trying to keep Los Santos and, well, really San Andreas in general stocked up. So you can see they got, uh, what, four trailers being loaded up there. We're going to be taking one. Uh, we got two trucks standing by, two of the Kenworths. And it's just been really busy, guys. So let me see. Which truck are we, t or which trailer are we taking? I know they said we got to pick up number 1007 let's take a look and see all right this is 1005 1007 okay so this is a trailer that we're going to be taking okay perfect all right so let's back up our truck and let's get going Alright, did you guys hear the fifth wheel click or lock? I think it did. Just gotta make sure we connect all our lines. Get the jacks up. Get all of that connected. Got the jacks up. Lights on the trailers are looking good. Everything's lit up. Let's make sure that we are attached properly. And looks like we are good to go. All right, so let me set our GPS. So I really don't really need it. We're just really going right down the block, but we'll use it anyway. Wow, not even a mile away. So this is going to be a pretty short delivery. Now, I did hear that it's pretty crazy at the supermarket. There's like long lines, and I think the police is even there, and it's pretty much crazy. So hopefully, we're going to have enough space to even get this trailer in there because this is like a, uh, what, 53-footer? So hopefully we have enough space. If anything, we may have to just start using some of the smaller trailers so that we could get in and out of the parking lot because, like I said, it's, it's pretty crazy. And this is actually, like like I said before, it's going on in real life. Like where I live in New York, like say the Costco to warehouse uh, supermarkets, they were so packed that they both had police departments. We have two nearby. One is in Yonkers, the other one's in New Rochelle. And both of them, like, the police had to be there because the lines were just so, so long. Like, it's, it's just crazy. Like, I really hope things get better soon and um, we could just move on from all of this, you know? 
but just make sure you guys stay safe and we gonna be all right I really love the way this livery came out. Her, uh, Skinworks really did an amazing job on it. The Ace Truck and the Logistics. Some of you guys, this may be like the first time you're seeing this too, because I haven't done this. Oh my God, I'm on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> I haven't done this in so long. So this is like the first time you guys are seeing the Ace Truck and um, logo and livery. Let me know what you guys think about it. Ace Truck and Logistics, we haul it all. There goes one of our trucks right there, actually, another Peterbilt. <laughs> and another one, there goes one of our Kenworths. Like I said, we're just super busy right now. And look, another one back there, too. We just got trucks and trailers all over the place. Wait, is that a plow truck out? <laughs> you guys see that? Oh, it's a garbage truck with a plow on it. That's another thing you see in New York City. We, we barely got any snow this year in New York. Like, we didn't get any high levels of snow, at least where I'm at. I know, like, northern New York got a, a little bit more, but where we're at, we didn't get anything, which is kind of good. Um, kind of good. I know some people probably wanted to have snow days and stuff like that, but I mean, hey, you don't have to worry about snow days now. You got like freaking almost three weeks off from school. Like this, this is crazy. Dude. I still can't believe how long school is gonna be closed. So let me know what you guys think about like this whole situation and stuff that's going on. What the heck did he just? He did run that red light. Is that person drunk? And now he stopped on the train tracks. He better move before a train comes. What is he doing? What the? Okay, let's get out of here because these people are driving crazy. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about what's going on. And do you guys think it's going to get better? How soon do you guys think it's going to get better? I think we're going to have to deal with this for a little while, unfortunately. Come on. Okay, we're good. But yeah, I feel like we're... Uh, almost hit them. I feel like we're a couple more weeks... Dang. Struggling trying to get through this neighborhood. But yeah, I feel like we have a couple more weeks to go with all of this craziness before it really starts to die down and clear up. just got wrecked oh shoot now I'm hearing shots fired over there all right guys we finally made it to the store and wow the parking lot is completely packed looks like the police department is here as well oh man this is Crazy! I see some people cheering for us. That's nice to see. And you know what? I actually want to take a moment out to say thank you to all the truck drivers out there in real life who deliver all of this stuff to the supermarkets and to the stores and everywhere that it needs to be. Because if you think about it, without truck drivers, the world will come to a stop. Like hospitals wouldn't have supplies. Stores wouldn't have food. Gas stations wouldn't have gas. I, I really want to say, you know, thank you to all of the truck drivers and all of these people here applauding are all applauding for you guys so shout outs to the truck drivers all right uh let's try to get this truck in here this is crazy parking lot is packed wow all 
all right so there there's not really a loading dock for this store um there's a loading dock in the rear but it's like for the um it says it's for the uh what is it the self storage but we'll just use that and say it's for the supermarket so i'm gonna try to see if i could cut this turn honestly i should not have came in this way i should have just went into the loading dock but i just wanted to show you guys like how crazy the lines are and people waiting for stuff so i'm gonna have to get a couple more truckloads of um deliveries in here today so we can try to help everybody out Oh shoot, <laughs> I was scraping. Okay, we're good. And you know what guys, let's actually check out the inside of the supermarket as well. It does have an interior thanks to another mod that I downloaded, so we're gonna go ahead and check that out. Oh man, can we make this turn? It's gonna be a hard one. Okay, we got it. And we're going to back up. <laughs> like I said, it's not really a good loading dock area. We'll just like clear all this trash out the way. And then we'll back up right here. All right, that's about as close as I'm gonna get it. So let's go ahead and let them start unloading this truck. And while they're unloading it, like I said, I'm actually gonna go ahead and take a look at the inside of the supermarket and, you know, just kind of see how much supplies they have, how much food they have, and how many more uh, deliveries they need because there's a lot of people out here. So we wanna try to get as many trucks as possible into this store. That way the community can have everything that they need. Another nice thing I've seen that was going on in real life to a lot of supermarkets, at least where I live at, and I, probably around the country as well, but they have been dedicating hours for like people who are seniors or people who are pregnant so that they could come in, I say like from 6 to 7.30 a.m. in the morning. They could come in and shop before the general public, um, and that way they could be safe from like getting potentially you don't want them in a crowd of like no one wants to be in a crowd right now but like you know the old people are more at risk so at least it gives them like an hour or an hour and a half some stores so that they could come in and just shop by themselves and that way they're not in crowds of people where they could potentially or where they have a higher risk at getting sick basically so that's one thing that is very good that they were um that they're doing around here to help out but um yeah it's it's really crazy in real life like where i'm at the stores are just it's just so many people still like and the shelves are so empty it's, it's really crazy but anyway let's head inside the supermarket and let's check it out excuse me oh shoot sorry excuse me excuse me We're working gotta get through if i don't get through y'all don't get your food excuse me all right so we are inside the supermarket looks like there's no customers inside yet they're getting ready but um yeah this is pretty cool very interesting so we got the checkout area looks like we have like the home goods area uh let's see we have the fitness area where's the food at? that's what i want to see i want to see how they're doing on food cards oh no glasses TVs, they got everything here. Traveling. Yeah, you don't need much of that right now. Like, everything's shut down. This is very cool, though. Okay, so the good thing, that there are some empty spots, as you can see, but there are, there is a good amount of food. A lot of shelves are empty, but a lot of shelves are still fully stocked, so that is good. 
happy that the uh, shelves are not completely empty at least so they should be letting everybody in in about a minute or two and um yeah they sh they're probably gonna buy up all this stuff but at least we have more stuff in the back that we could start stocking the shelves so this looks pretty good let's take a look back here i think this is the uh the stock area let's see do we have looks like we have beer we have a lot of sprunk not sure what's in there. I would like to see some more water. Made in China. And maybe some toilet paper would be nice. Because that's what everybody's basically buying right now. <laughs> water and the toilet paper. But this is a pretty cool supermarket. It did a good job on the interior. I like it. Let me know what you guys think about it down below in the comment section. Very nice. Alright, let me see how the truck is. So they go ahead and start unloading everything. I think this puts us outside in the cargo area. Yep. So you guys can see our truck. Oh, our truck over there. Very, very cool, guys. Alright, guys. So that is going to do it for today's episode. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys thought about it by leaving a comment down below. If you did enjoy the episode, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. Also, subscribe if you are new. Hit the notification bell as well. That way you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. And also, leave some suggestions on whatever you guys would like to see me do in the next video. So stay safe out there, everybody. Hope you have a great day. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace.